I am from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg. And we're going to take a look at what the heck the Pope, the Pope is up to these days. Hmm, what's his schedule looking like? I would like to thank right up front Cody from Decoding with Cody for some of the details that I'm going to share in this video. So, thanks. I appreciate it. Super interesting stuff here. Let's take a look here. We have the Sanctuary of Christ the King in Lisbon, Portugal. It was dedicated. It is dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus Christ, and it was inaugurated. Do you inaugurate statues? Seems like a weird word to use, but that's what the wiki said. So, interestingly enough, May 17th of 1959. I've talked quite a bit about 1959 and all the interesting things that happened that year. Well, not all of them, but many of them, and how they seem to be connected to this year. And May 17th is the 137th day of the year, which is the fine structure constant number. So I have here day 137, May 17th, and that leaves 228 days left in the year. And the 228th day of the year is August 16th. So if you add 64 to 1959, you come to this year. 64 equals Titan. And I made it look like the statue here. Uh, <laughs> we've had a lot of Titan things and 64 things happening this year of late. So that made sense to me. There we go. And this is the place where World Youth Day is about to happen. World Youth Day is, I don't know, it might have been annually, but at least doesn't seem to be annually now at this point. The last one was in 2019, and there was supposed to be one scheduled for Panama City last year. But it was delayed? Did it actually happen in Panama last year? Now I don't recall exactly. Panama City, Panama. Which is another topic I need to get to one of these days. But, anywho, this year it is happening next week. This coming week? Very soon. It starts on the 1st and it goes to the 6th. Which is also interesting because it's called World Youth Day. And yet, it appears to be six days long. So it's world almost a whole week day? I guess that doesn't roll off the tongue quite as nicely. <laughs> so the Pope is not showing up on day one. He is set to arrive there in Lisbon on the 2nd of August. This is the 214th day of the year. And 2-14, February 14th, well, that is a day of many hearts. Yeah? That is Valentine's Day. Lisbon, Portugal, all the letters added up equals 181, and Decoding with Cody said that it was 64, so I thought, oh, that's interesting, but that's a lot of letters. And then it didn't add up to 64. It said the reduction was 64. I don't know what a reduction means in Gematria. Uh, don't know. Because I tried to add it up a different way. Like, if you had a double digit, like a 12, say it was December, right, and it was a double digit there, then you could call it 12, or you could say that it was 1 plus 2, which is 3, and you would get a different answer, if depending on how you did it, right? So I thought that that's what it meant, the reduction, so I added it up that way, uh, you know, and no. Like, L is 12, Right? It does not equal 64 if you do it the other way that I was just describing. So, I don't know what the 64 comes from. It's called a reduction. But anyway, there you go. And 64 is tight. So, the, the days remaining in the year from this one, August 2nd, there are 151 days remaining in the year. And Jesus Christ, all the letters added up, equals 151. Okay. Then, if you take this date and break it down, 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3, 8 to 2023, all those added up to 17, <laughs> which breaks down to an 8, 
which H is for heart. So there's the 214th day of the year, February 14th is all about hearts, and then we have the Sacred Heart of Jesus Christ here. So the date, August 2nd, all added up, breaks down to an 8, which is H for heart. And if you move the H to the end of the, you know, take that H and move it down, it's Earth. <laughs> They're anagrams of each other, heart and Earth, which is nice. So then, if you subtract 369, the 369, from this date, you come to something interesting that I mentioned, I think, once before that happened last year. And that is that the Pope went on a tour in Canada to apologize to the native Canadians for the dastardly things done to them uh, decades back with the, with the schools, the Catholic schools that they created for Native Americans and cut off their hair and didn't let them speak their native languages and other worser things. So that was a five-day tour. It went from July 24th to July 29th. And from that day to this one is 369 days. Yeah. So I think that I've covered everything here. I'm going to get to what's hiding under here. Hold on. Oh, a little thing. My mouse broke, so I'm using this remote mouse right now. Hold on. Okay, so the other thing, this 369 reminded me of someone that's recently in the news. If you subtract from this day 369 months and almost another month, 30 days, you come to... October 3rd of 1992, which if you add up all of those numbers, you come to 25, which is the reverse of 52, 25, 52, right? This is the day that Sinead O'Connor was on Saturday Night Live and tore up a picture of the Pope. It was a big, big hubbub and to do. I'm not going to tell you what happened, why she did that or anything. I'm not going to talk about all that business, but I point it out because it is related to the Pope. And that's who's going to be arriving at this, well, at least in the city for World Youth Day on August 2nd. So here are some other things that equal 52. Sinead. 52. Heart and Earth both equal 52. Rabbit, this is the year of the rabbit that we're in right now, 2023. And Pope and W-Y-D. So I was looking up, you know, what happened to the Pope in whatever year. You know, like I just, Pope and the year. And it said W-Y-D. And I'm like, what the heck? W-Y-D? I'm thinking all things Catholic. Could, I don't know what this means. So I looked into it a little further, and I'm talking about it. It is World Youth Day. <laughs> I just, I hadn't thought of it in by its initials before, but that's how it's kind of referred to. So it's interesting that instead of adding up all of the letters for World Youth Day, which I did, and I don't remember what it came to, well, it didn't seem to be anything interesting, but they refer to it as this W-Y-D. That's how you see it written everywhere. And that equals 52. So, interesting, that is what the Pope is up to coming up here real soon. Last year, he was on a tour of Canada, and this year, he is about to head to Lisbon, Portugal for this event. So, thanks guys, have a great day. Oh, see, the mouse. I would like to be smiling, and now I gotta figure out my mouse. Okay. <laughs>